Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Cyberpunk Hello. 2077, the game where Jackie just tells you to move your ass because he doesn't really have a lot of patience. And where last time we spent like the last 10 minutes of the episode looking at boobs at the corner of the screen there. But Hello. we saved that woman. Yes, Jackie, I know. I'll get into the side of the car. So we finished our first missions, the rescue mission, and now we need to ride back with Jackie. Is he going to... Is he go... Jackie? Ja Jackie? Okay, he's moving, I think. <laughs> there we go. Um, hmm. And then we get our first introduction to the city, I suppose. There's, there's not a lot of feedback in his face there at the moment. Hello. Stop digging night city. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, no, chica, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Those were a bunch of names. I think the only one I'm a bit familiar with because I read the art book is Adam Smasher. But let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. You're right. Okay. So, yeah, we, we saw that before, that they were shutting down Jackson, uh, Watson, not Jackson. Uh, and then the game freezes. Okay, this is a tutorial for that. Draw a weapon with triangle and holster your weapon, double tap. Triangle. As the passenger drawing your weapon allows you to lean out the window and use your entire arsenal of equipped ranged weapons. Okay, that's... I still think I have... Yeah, thank you for letting me choose something, because I still have a shotgun equipped. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I am. I am shooting. I am shooting. But they don't seem to be dying. Oop. Don't hit the stairs, please. Can I... Does... Um... But that, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, that was very dry. <laughs> was it supposed to be an explosion or something? Because that guy just dumped into the wall. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Our, our car is wrecked. I mean, understandably, but there's not much left there. Aww. Ooh, and there's sparks all over the place as well. What? Why are you yelling? Can I... I can't hang back out of the car. I can't heal up either. So I'm guessing we're still stuck. Is this supposed to be looking like this? Yeah. Pulling out all the stops. I think the subtitles died as well. So we're entering the Kabuki area. Hi, officer. What does the lockdown to for the nerdists? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you? Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Is that a good excuse with another woman in your car? That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. He do Let Jackie doesn't look like a good kid. Last. How? Okay. How you did that convince you? You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. How did that work? I mean, he looks like the biggest bruiser you can see. So you can be nice. So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice. Always, never, not nice. So, you're always, always nice? You're always not. Yeah, that was double negation, but then with an always in front of that, so that doesn't change anything. So, yeah, always, always nice. 
That's very nice then. Okay. I mean, we are nice. We stop for red lights and stuff like that. And now we're entering Little China. What are these guys doing? If the windshield wasn't... Oh. Um, those guys are fucked up, right? Doesn't look like your average bust. Ooh. So eat your average badges. That's Max Tack. NCPD. Wait, did they also Red kill the drug? Oh no, he ran off, right? When things fly out of hand. Gunks out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Ooh. They did blow up well, the man's car, so that's not really nice. Bastards. But they had it coming. Poor bastards. They were criminals. Carja I mean, we're criminals. Or mercenaries, depending on your point of view. Um, now we can skip the ride, apparently. I, don't, I mean, this is the first ride we're going through Night City with, so... I suppose I should just let this run and see where it goes. But yeah, those were carjackers. Not not nice people. Made it. Almost at your place. Oh, that was definitely you? not... Wait, wait oh, where's, where's the level? Okay, there it is. Kill V? Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah, I'll play nice Jackie again. Okay. Stuff is popping in and out of the screen, so I don't know. I've heard a lot of bad things about the console versions. For now, it's been mostly visual, nothing game breaking just yet. But uh, hopefully, that doesn't get worse in this episode. You'll definitely get my opinion on that, otherwise. But. Okay, so now we're at our apartment. Bye, Jackie. Ooh, Tell wow. Car disappeared. Hi, Luego. Hi, Luego. And now he's driving off really quickly. Okay. Oh, I leveled up. There's a level up system. That's good, at least. So now I have one attribute point and one perk point. So attribute points, probably just adding that into any of my levels here. And I think intelligence is going to be important. Um, that seemed important during the tutorial section, so... Let's purchase another point of intelligence. And then perks. Oh, open perks. So they're per stats. So yeah, since I just complimented intelligence on being very, very important. Oh god. There's a big skill tree over here. Oh, this sounds good to start with. Advanced data mine. Upgrades the data mine demon, increasing the, the amount of euro dollars acquired from access points by 50%. That sounds good. Let's grab that. The more money, the better, I suppose. Um, there's also, ooh, there's breach protocol and then there's quick hacking. Ah, and quick hacking, yeah, that's what we were doing during combat. I'm gonna have to see, because these allows RAM to recover during combat. Eliminating a target affected by a quick hack instantly recovers one RAM. Reveals an enemy netrunner when they're attempting to hack you. And unlocks crafting specs for uncommon quick hacks and then 10% more damage from quick hacks. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of abilities. I don't know how far we're going to go with this. We're going to be able to go with this if we can actually access everything or not. But yeah, guess we'll see later on. Ah, so I do have a weight capacity up here. So 66 out of 200, 1200 euro dollars. And I look pretty fly at the moment. Maybe I can check out some of the other gear that I picked up. Wow, once you change outfits, you actually temporarily see your boobs. Oh, that was uh, interesting. Uh, so yeah, th does that happen again if I switch back? Yeah, definitely. We're going nude for a second before. But we're going for the jacket because um, that looks absolutely stunning. Aha, uh -huh. and then high heel boots, that's always nice as well. I don't have any extra pants, I think I have a hat piece. But a bitch cap, right? That, that was the one thing we found in, that, uh, in the club. And that looks, yeah, like that. No, I don't like... I do love that the hair kind of changes based on what you're wearing on your hat, because now my, my ears are poking out of my hair there. But uh, let's not... Can I just remove... Yeah, and equip. There we go, let's just stay without a hat for now. Don't need to be that special. Clothing sets, I'm assuming I won't have anything now. Okay, so that's fine. And that's our V at the moment, so she's looking pretty fly if you ask me. So, uh, very, very nice. Or maybe since I since I based her on Siri, maybe I should call her Viri. 
no, that's stupid. Let's, but you know what? It might might come back a few times. Let's get into our apartment. Uh, call elevator disabled. Can I? Oh. Okay. That was weird. Good. Oh, uh, a phone from T Bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zipping your deeds. Zipping. Zipping her. Zipping me the deeds. Zipping. Okay, but the deeds are probably going to be the details. Um, other than that, I should probably heal up. Stab. So that is good. Can I go out? Yeah. Hi, everyone. How's everybody doing? Hi, guys. Do, do you also live in my apartment or is this just... Yeah, it's an apartment building. Ooh. Is this... Is this a slot machine? Can I... Oh, I can, actually. Ah, I can order food. So these are vending machines. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's go... Uh, uh, ma'am, ma'am, you forgot your pants. Ma'am, let's call it itch. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh yeah. Okay. Are are you my neighbor? Hi, hi, ma'am. Okay, the gates busted. Let's just go. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. This doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, I think this is also the place where my Gwent goodie should be. Um, there he is. There he is. Yes. Uh, wait, cards. Cards. I took cards. Shoop! Arasaka Shoop. Corpo Shoop. Uh, let's sit. That's, can I? Am I sitting? Um, am I laying down? Wait, there's a photo mode, I think. There might not be a photo mode in the console version. I have no idea. I could watch the television. Let's just stand. Um, but, but, so if you have Gwent, which is a free game, so I mean, why wouldn't you have Gwent? You can actually uh, link your GOG account to your game, even if you're uh, playing on consoles. And then you get this little cute guy. So it's Shoop. Shoop smashing an Arasaka crate. That is awesome. And in Gwent, you actually get a card back from Cyberpunk. I'll check that out later. But okay, so that's. I can check my weapon stash. Where's the weapon stash? Okay, so that's in here. Ooh, wow. That's actually pretty pretty impressive. So holsters for multiple swords and rifles and pistols. Let's open up the stash. Ooh, there's a katana in there. How, why is it not half damage? The razor-like blade is as merciless as that itself, but it has zero damage. How, does, how, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. And then I get, ooh, the wool sculpt t-shirt. That is just, so outer torso and inner torso. But for some reason, my jacket that I'm currently wearing is also inner torso, so. Oh, but definitely grabbing that wolf skull. Yeah, the wolf skull jacket, that is just so nice. So outer body and then get the wolf skull jacket around that. That is, so it kind of, resembles the armor with the shoulder pads that is actually oh yes that is that is the stuff that is the stuff right there that is absolutely gorgeous um there's actually wait there's molds in there boom breaker five five explosion damage reduction okay so five percent and then yeah okay so that's just the mold that's on the jacket i do hate that i don't see the jacket underneath it anymore or no not a lot either. I also need to swap the pistol out for the katana. So that's the black unicorn. Oh yes, that is a lovely sword there. And now we're basically fully equipped to uh, get going. So first up, a good night's rest, because that's very important for your health, even with cybernetics. How, wait, how do you... That's not how you go to sleep, V. That's not... Do you guys lay in your bed like that? I mean, the pillows were right there. So then we go into Act 1. Yeah, when we were talking to the police officer, there was something going on with our um, cybernetics as well. 
Mm, ah, and Jack and Paul's. Oh, V? Get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. When I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. Then on neurovirus. There we go. The system malfunctioned. See Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Wait, am I am I not dressed right now? Am I naked again? Can I see that in the mail? Uh, look in the mail. Oh, it's one of those. One of those mirrors. Oh, wow. That was... That was something. I'm not wearing the... The other jacket anymore? Yeah, the mirror. The mirror doesn't look good. That is... Why is that an optional mirror? I mean, video games probably, but... Wait, I can shower? Maybe I should have taken my clothes off for this first. Um... Yeah, my clothes are gonna be wet right now. Can I put that jacket back on? Or was that no that jacket? What the hell just happened? Because I lost I think I lost no. So my heels are back on. The sword was swapped out, but for some reason the jacket was off again. So main jobs, side jobs, and the ones I've completed. So now we need to go to the Ripper Dock to Victor, because he can probably help me out with that neuro neurovirus that we caught. So let's do that first. And if we can get to our reward for, for uh, rescuing that woman last time, might as well do that as well. So let's go out. Ah, this gate is now fixed, so we can just get out normally. And we got a call from Regina Jones. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later V. Lady Regina. Fair enough. Um, where is Jackie? Oh, no, oh, no. Wait. I can go over here. Why is there a gun icon on them? Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Uh, well, sh sure. Um, sure, why not? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Keep that head moving. Um. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hey! Wait, did he punch me? Ah, he's down. I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? Uh, sure. What have you got on sale? What have you got for sale? No, that's a <laughs> only top shelf gear. That is that is buying stuff, I'm assuming. But wait, can I sell my junk? There we go. Got a bit of money out of that, so that was only twenty-four. Did not wait. Did not get any money. Ah, there we go. <laughs> One hundred and nineteen for the rest. So that is absolutely fine. About these fights, that was I, I pressed X to confirm because usually X is confirming, but. Since that's jumping, for once, I do agree that we get a separate button for conversations compared to, you know, the jump button. So, about these fights. You mentioned something about fighting? Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very loot. Lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. So this sounds like the fights in The Witcher 3, so... Sounds fair. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. When you take home the pot. Put down Managed your to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you made of. Okay, so that's uh, defeat all opponents to get to the final round. So thank you, Coach Fred. Bye. 
so I can beat on brats apparently around Kabuki. But wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait. Do you? Have, what the hell? There's a lot coming in. So I got a message from Coach Fred. For, yeah, for the four people I need to beat up. Okay, fine. And somebody was over here yelling at me. The gun. Yeah, okay. So let's check this out. Hello. Let's have a look. So that's Wilson. Wait, didn't he say that there was a gun waiting for, for me as specifically my gun? Ah, there we go. Zero. That, that means zero to buy, right? Yeah. Dying Knight. Bullets can ricochet off surfaces, an extra headshot multiplier, and a bit of extra physical damage. Good. So that's my gun. Was he repairing my gun? I'm, I'm not sure about all of that. Uh, you've just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. Iconic items can also be purchased, uh, upgraded just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their levels and stats and ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. Thanks a lot. Okay. So we can actually just level up our weapons. So thank you, Wilson. So now Dying Knight suddenly increased in DPS. I'm not entirely sure why. Can I? How do I upgrade this then? Ah, wait, there's a crafting tab. There's a crafting tab. And I have insufficient components to upgrade Dying Knights. All right, okay, so I know where that is. I'm not gonna go into deeply right now. And now we need to meet with... Wait, can, you, can we put down the weapon? No, put down the weapon. Wait, uh, is that? Yeah, it was strip double tapping, right. Meet with Jackie. Um, so I can use this. To go down, I suppose. Scanning entrance. There we go. Okay, so we're downstairs now. We actually went down quite a bit, which means that we were actually pretty high up with the apartment, which makes sense. We saw that at the beginning. And now we are in Night City proper. Ooh, look at that. That is actually really pretty. Even though it's a little bit blurry. Woman of the hour. Jeez. Oh. They took you long enough. Up an appetite, just okay, wait. so we just got a map overlay for some reason. I'll uh, first talk to Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Can, can we talk? Can we... Sit down. Let me finish this. And we can drop in on Senor Vector. Uh, sit. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens. I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. That spells job. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. Uh, okay, tell me more about this Dex Deshaun. Dexter Deshaun. Dexter Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? No, you got info to spill. He'd been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. Who was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. It's a fresh crew. Okay, so that's good. So, um, yeah, what's the job exactly? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... No deal's riding on you now, chica. Um, wait, why me? Indeed. Why us specifically? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Okay. F fine, I suppose. Can I... Look, uh, oh, no. his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Yes, I got no choice then. Nope, indeed. Game is kind of forcing us into this. deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. I don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? 
I suppose I uh, trust you then. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gonk to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. How much work does it cost you to maintain that haircut, by the way? Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Okay, thanks. He's a real friend. He just fixed thanks. up our cars, even. Much appreciated. Nice. You can call your active vehicle to your current location with a tap to the right. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Fancy. Are we rolling or what? Uh, yep. Let's feel this factory new ride. Indeed. So this is the same. Yeah, because I was wondering he was talking about a fixer all of a sudden, but now we need to go to the Ripper Dock. I suppose. Can I drive now? Since this is my car? Yeah. Okay. First stop. Ripper Dock. Anchica. Easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Oh God. Um. First person I driving. My Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. Me. He don't say. Misty again. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. So that's green. I can go. And then I can go. There we go. All right. Now we're going. Ooh, we're cooking with gas. Oop! I need to. I need to. I needed to take that left. Give me a second. Um. I have no idea whether I'm actually hitting somebody right now, but if there's no... Is there a way? Where have you made? Doesn't seem like it. Um, yeah, everything was like really lit when I was in the car. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. I mean, it is just design-wise a very, very interesting city to watch. It's... It looks like nothing I've ever seen before, with the, the holographic lamps and everything. This is and the neon. Ooh, I didn't even see the dancers up until now. Yeah, there's a lot of detail going around. Some broken neon. It's not the crispest looking that I've ever seen. It looks a bit grainy. Um, but as I said before, we're playing on a PS4 Pro, so I'm guessing the PC folks will not have the same issues. But yeah, the Ripper Dog, because we need to get that malfunction out of our head. Of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you. Not only to you. Okay. So, Misty's Esoterica and Chakra Harmonization. Okay, so this is Misty's place, even. Um, didn't think we were going to combine those two. Maybe. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Wait, wasn't his name Victor? Is his name really? please seriously Victor Vector? Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But we got a new job lined up from a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh, is it going to be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. Oh, that was cute. Um, meet the Ripper Dog, so I need to go. Hi, Misty. Uh, I need to go over they say I've here. Got my head in the clouds. Earth to be. Yeah, oh, wait, am I outside again? <laughs> seems like it, but this seems to be locked off. Wait, is this supposed to be a Faraday gauge that causes them to not get signals over here? Which would make sense if the Ripper Dog is that a cat. I can pet the cat. There's the cat. Hello, kitty. Oh, it's a, uh, 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 do you call that a naked cat in, in English? Because that's what we call that. But uh, there we go. Siamese cat, even. Uh, this is not creepy at all. Mr. Victor Vector. Okay, we get an overlay again. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure, which can only be performed by qualified specialists called... Ripper dogs? That's... Doesn't really sound that... that Yeah, comforting. There are several Ripper dogs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Okay. Are you old Ripper? Good to see you. Old Ripper. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? 
I have Last Hector. gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort Whoa, you Jesus. out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Um, heard of Dexter Deshawn, indeed. Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. A fee? We haven't met no him yet. quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some Shields things up. about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Well, talking about shields, do you have something like that? Do you, can you give me a cybernetic shield that I can use? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex Deshawn. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshawn? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. I mean, what the f... Uh, pay you wants to... What the hell? 21k. Um, pay you wants the job is done. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the eddies later with interest. Yeah. Ah, ED Euro Dollars Eddies. Last okay, time. got it. Yeah. Um, I must say, he looks not that um, cybered up compared to everybody nice. else, even though he is supposed to be the expert on installing these things. He doesn't really have a lot of them of his own. But uh, let's let's slide down. This, I mean, I'm uncomfortable already. This is not good. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Uh, Victor, Eddie's, Eddie's is the money. Hiroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Okay, so... It's even the thing on his hand. It doesn't look like a cybernetic. It feels like just an attachment on his real hands. Um, Kiroshi, that's the... Oh, wait. Kiroshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. Sounds good then. Give you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. So what's wrong with it? We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Okay, he's uh he's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. Check in, I suppose, unless he's gonna double cross me. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists, known as Ripadox, are trusted to install cyberware safely. Okay. So, wow, this looks really similar to how deus ex did this um so we yeah so eyes over here frontal cortex is brain stuff blood system immune system nervous system whatever the integer integer and integumentary is that skin then let's see yeah subdermal armor and ground plating okay so increased armor by 20 grants immunity to shock you need 12 technical ability. Okay, okay, okay. So that's really, really cool. And then operating system, I currently have a Militech power line with two base RAM, four buffer size, and two slots. Allows you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning. So that's my cyber deck, it's called. It's, it's right there on the screen. Um, and then skeleton, I can probably improve that as well. Oh, and that increases carrying capacity with titanium bones. But we have hands, there's something available in hands. Ballistic co-processor increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons and directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real-time data tracking. Gorilla arms, charge with each attack and when you perform a strong attack, they deal bonus damage based on the charge level. Ooh, that is, and they also allow you to force open locked doors and rip turrets from their bases. Gorilla arms deal physical damage damage and then of course the mantis blades that, I, that we've been hearing about uh, can slice and dice your enemies with swift deadly slashes 
Uh, we also have mono wire. The mono wire charges when equipment not used in combat attacks with a charged wire deal. Ooh, that's an electric whip then, I suppose. Um, yeah, deals a high amount of concentrated damage. You can instantly dismember any an, an, an enemy with one quick attack. Ooh, monofilament wire. So it's not electrified, but it has. It's so sharp probably that it, it can cut into anything. And then just a projectile on shade your arm. That also sounds really really cool. And then legs. Um, reinforced tendon, so of, allows you to double jump and then, oh, or just a power jump. To charge the power of the jump and then release the jump. But all very, very expensive. I didn't like the hand thing. What is available in the ocular system? Hiroshi Optics. Enhances your vision. Empty cyberware mold slot. Ah, let's go with that. Um, cyberware you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at any Ripper Dog Clinic. Did we actually... Did we actually get something like that, maybe? Because the hands are available, but I don't know if that's... Because it's also free. So I might as well try this. It's probably from the guy with the um, the machine gun. That we took it from him, but I can't really remember. But that is cool. So now we have this in our hands and that in our eyes. What happens if you want to just uninstall it? Because you don't get your normal eyes back, I suppose. Mark okay. one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Okay, that is actually really cool. Hmm, this should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech too. Okay, am I looking at something? I'm ready. Carve away. That sounds excellent. Horrifying. Let's do this. Okay. Hi, Victor. You're getting uncomfortably close. Oh, major wife. league arm of yours, right here. Um. There we go. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Yep. Oh yeah, right. Of course. We yeah. That needs to you go. Anything? Feels like I'm at the dentist's. <laughs> play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Okay. Lights out for a minute, all right? Oh, that's going in. Oh, that's not good. That's going in my face. Ow. I'm assuming there were already cybernetics in my face, which is why he just said lights out, as and because we can still hear things. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Okay, so now we got on. Wait, what? You might feel a little discomfort at first. Oh Over god. Vision, low contrast, glitches. We're in his hands. No, that's of course the eyes that are in his hands, but and that's going in. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? That is, yeah, pretty good. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, so scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. For the scanner. Okay, so you can do that and scan him. So he's a civilian. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Okay. NCPD database access. I also granted. inject an NCPD file search. Ooh. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Okay, so we can get information on anybody we come across as well. So database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. Okay. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Ooh. Uh, draw a weapon. And then... Um, I don't see... Wait. I, I, didn't, I didn't see it yet. What about the virus? How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. 
You're certified bug free. All right. Thank you, Vic. Shit, Vic, you're not a cool bad. guy. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Uh, okay, what's that? What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay, uh, thanks. What am I looking no, at? No, no. A mild stim. Should... There we go. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Green smoke. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. So, job complete. The Why don't up. you hit the big leagues? Don't forget where you came from. And he's immediately back to Guard up, boxing. Alright, let's go talk to Jackie. So what's taking so long? Move your ass. Yeah, calm down, Jackie. Jesus Christ. I thought he wanted to spend some time with Misty. This is ridiculous. Hi, kitty cat. No, I'm not going to pet it again. Um, there we go. Heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. Why is he sending me messages? But you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, she's repeating a dialogue. The decks while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us out. Okay, so new contact added next to Deshaun. Um, let's go talk with the man. A hundred meters. I mean, I can I can run this, right? That's. Oh, and Regina calls again. Hello. I I answered. I. Oh, Listen. There we go. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tech hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. <laughs> um, there are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. No lethal takedowns, no lethal quick hacks, weapons, EMP grenades, and mods to change damage to non lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or a quick hack deals non lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Okay. Can we talk with these guys? Because it feels like. Hello? Officer? Why is there like... Oh no, 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 I don't. I just wanted to talk about this dead man over here. Seems like he was shot or something. Um, can I talk to this guy? No. Okay, so I can't talk to the police apparently. Um, there's also a very... A lot of very peculiar posters like uh, this one. All thumbs up how it feels to be on top. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Uh, 20... Oh, this is a scar. Let's get into the Dexter mobile. Hello. Oh, you have a face shield. I want one of those. That seems very, very helpful. Uh, let's get in. Oh, yeah, right. Jackie mentioned this guy was pretty uh, big. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. You. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> let's roll. I wouldn't immediately call him out for being Mind if I ask you something right bigger, bank? even though I just did. Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Um, how do you remember you? That That's all that counts. Mm. Ah, Miss Nobody's don't survive in Night City, probably. You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be a uh, Miss V. I mean, I've answered the question. <laughs> he skipped his own dialogue there. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. 
Um, so why me specifically? Yeah, that's something I want to know. Why do you want to talk to V? Hang on, got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Okay, so tell me more. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Simple. Mm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. That's where we came from, so... Um, not at all. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Okay. So, what's the issue with the Maelstrom gang then? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Okay, so we get more information. As... But the first time we slotted in a shard that didn't end very well. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Wait, a single-use Mac? I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this ship's room, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Okay, so woman's a corporate agent, and that's a corporal answer, so that's something we can say because we started in Arasaka. Corpo agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Mm. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport, got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Miss V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Okay, so, and now we have the client itself, of course, so tell me about her. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Okay, fair enough. Um, then I think we know all we need. So that Evelyn is the client. We have a problem with the Maelstrom gang because they won't probably only the deal that Hello. Dexter had with them to get that flat hat. And there's also another woman, Meredith Stout from Militech, that's also looking for that flat hat. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you.
That sounds like an interesting first mission. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Obviously blaze of glory. So uh, let's get out. I don't know where we're... Because we're, we've been driving, so I don't know where we are right now. Um, so performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Fair enough. So we leveled up to level 3. And uh, new contact added, Meredith Stout. And we got a call from Jackie. Jackster, talk to Dex. Jackster. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Um, he was out to work me over. He wants to check us out. Yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some military. Ow! Too, <laughs> just got run over. Jesus, these guys run close to the sidewalk. Um. And then there's. So, Royce, know anything about the Maelstrom leader? Yes. Yeah. You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junky snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Chrome? Like a Mad Max? <laughs> That's a bit weird. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Um, I think we should start out slow. So let's start with the client first. Parker, I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Bye, Jackie. Okay, so we need to go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. It's starting to get closer to 6 p.m., so I think that's the next thing that we'll do. Um, I think I've seen there's a waiting system when you're on benches and stuff like that. So with that done, I'm going to take a little break. This is going to be... Well, this is going to be it for episode two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cyberpunk 2077, where we got um, adjusted to things. We met a few new characters. And uh, we got set up for our first real big mission. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And see you in the next episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Goodbye.